Green living is the life for me. I just love sustainability. Hey, I'm Rick Gardner and welcome to my blog, Green Living is a Life for Me. Today I'm here with Lauren McKinnis. She's the outreach coordinator here at NC State for waste reduction and recycling. And we're gonna be talking about pizza boxes of all things. So Lauren, can you come and join me on, on camera? So good afternoon, Lauren. Good afternoon. So tell me, before, before we start, tell me what you, how you uh, define sustainability for you, especially in your position. Sure, so my focus is really with you know, the recycling side of things and the waste reduction part of sustainability, and sustainability can be a lot of different things, but that's my big interest, you know, and that's my position here. Um, but just doing those things that are going to make um, the world a better place to live in and you know for years to come down the line so that when I start having children they're in a good place here and that's kind of what I think of sustainability as. Very good so we're talking about pizza boxes what what the uh, you know this is a college campus and and I'm sure there's a lot of pizza coming onto this campus what so what are you guys doing in waste reduction and recycling to address Pizza boxes are, you know, do they just go in the trash? Do they go in cardboard recycling? What, what are you doing? So we recently started a pizza box composting program. Um, we have two pizza box compost dumpsters on campus. Um, we picked the residence halls that had the most uh, university programming through housing that went on so that we could kind of focus on those areas first. And we knew that there was going to be a lot of pizza boxes and pizza parties generated there so that um, we'd have some success. And anybody can put the pizza boxes into these compost dumpsters, even if it's not a university-sponsored program. Um, but what happens is we design these really neat dumpsters. They have a big pizza on them. Um, we had a student designer that worked on those. And we painted them, and we put them out on campus. And um, right now we're picking them up once a week or a little bit more if needed. Um, but students can put pizza boxes in there. They can put pizza slices, crust. Uh, they can also put like paper plates and napkins in there as well and so we've done some programming and some outreach on that. So why did you choose uh, to compost the pizza boxes and not put them in? I noticed you have cardboard recycling. Sure, so when the pizza boxes get a lot of cheese or grease and things on them, they're not um, always able to be recycled. And a lot of people do think that normally I can just stick a pizza box in there, um, but when they're all contaminated with that food waste, um, it's, it's not always able to be recycled, so the composting is a better option because we know that all the pizza boxes can be composted then even if they do have that food waste on them. Okay, so what kind of results have you gotten so far? Um, so far it's been really overwhelming. It's been a great response. Um, we have started the program the beginning of March was when we first put these comp compost dumpsters out and to this day, um, to this date, I think we have about 1,600 pizza boxes collected from those two locations and that's a rough rough estimate um, you know it'd be a little difficult um, to just base it on weight measurements since pizza boxes are so light um, but we've been going by and checking weekly and kind of taking an estimate on how full the dumpsters are um, so that's our best guess right now at, at about 1600 pizza boxes okay and so tell me about some of the ultimate goals is there something that happens after the boxes are composted um, or, or are you looking to expand the program to other parts of campus? I know there's been a big interest um, with students and housing in general, um, and housing is a partner on this project. Um, and so I do think that hopefully we'll be able to introduce some more of these in the future because we have had other groups on campus or other places that may not be as close to these dumpsters that would, would love to see something like that near them so I do think that there's a lot of opportunity to expand this and hopefully um, in the future not just to the pizza boxes but maybe the full composting in general. Okay so you're working with the housing people mm -hmm. you're working with your composter obviously um, is, is there any other players uh, the you know key, key stakeholders? Um, well those are you know our two biggest and um, we've worked closely with University Housing to kind of come up with this idea. Um, we, we first started talking to the IRC to make sure that this was something that students wanted because this is for the students. 
And so that's kind of, once we had that okay from them and their buy-in from that, then that's when housing was like, yes, let's try this. And then from there, we've really, we've worked with some student groups. The Eco Village was a big part um, in helping us. They helped with painting, even though our student designer came up with everything. You know, it, it takes a lot to paint too big. Paint a dumpster. Big yeah, dumpsters. they're pretty big, yeah. So they helped with some of the painting. Um, they hosted a pizza party for St. Patrick's Day, and they instructed students on what could and could not go in the dumpsters and made sure before they got their free piece of pizza that they understood where where the dumpsters were and what they could use them for. So another stakeholder obviously mm -hmm. then is the students, the student organizations. Uh, IRC is the Inner Residence Hall Council? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Lauren, thank you so much for uh, sharing this information uh, and joining me on my, the, my Green Living is the Life for You blog. Thank you.